It has been a while, my boys, back in another video. It's sorry if this video is a bit laggy. It's recorded on Doc's second laptop, so that's a bit shit. A bit shit quality, but it is fine. So, we're back with some snake coverage. So here we got Trash from the Colliders versus Scan from the Sidewinders. Looking at this, we got some nice Pristies on deck. We got some nice... We got, we got a bit of the same mods on deck on both sides. We got from Trash's side, we got just some fat boys. I think most sets are pretty uh, self-explanatory. Now, I think the only Z-Move user on his team is really Diglett. I don't really see what else it could be unless it's like some secret tech. So, I would assume it would be Grunzy, Diglett. Just some standard rocks, a violite, uh, Tortuga, spikes on big ferris seed over here. Got a standard violet Mianfu, or we have uh, a violet Velibi. I think the other one has to be Scarf because they're like it's a pretty slow team, even if it is 17 speed Mianfu. Then Diggle is the only fast mod, I don't like that too much. Over on Sken's side, again, I think it's a pretty st straightforward team. I think it should be Scarf Magnemite. Um, looking from it, probably weak armor Onyx. I guess I guess it could be either weak armor or bear, it just doesn't really matter. Z move wingle, just some standard of violet spritzy action, spikes and uh, I was gonna say spikes and stealth rocks. Stealth rocks obviously on onyx spikes on the ferris seed. Both teams kind of have the same uh, same team structure. So yeah, let's just dive right into this lead matchup. So from Trash's side, um, I, I guess they both could lead off with the rocker. Onyx doesn't really like Tortuga though. Uh, but then again, Scan could lead off with the Ferris Seed. I think overall, for, from Trash's side, he could definitely lead off Mianfu to keep off both Hazard Setters, but Scan could do the exact same. This is basically like, kind of like a rock, paper, scissors thing. As Trash actually makes a nice pr nice lead right there and predicts the Mianfu lead and leads out with the Volibee. So Trash getting that nice advantage. Now Scan has to pull it back into either Onyx or Spritzy or Magnemite if he's feeling wild, but I don't think Magnemite's the play ever. So I think you just pull it back to... Onyx or Spritzy here if you're Scan, I don't really see any other play. I guess if he's like the super fat Mianfu said he can stay in on the predicted U-turn and get a slow U-turn out, but that's a bit wild for my taste. Yeah, I think that's like kind of the only play. Scan should just uh, switch out now from Trash's side. Trash should probably just go for a knockoff. Although if the Spritzy is covered and it just comes in here, it just gets a free ass covered on anything. Because Trash on Trash's side, it's all of Violet and Berry Juice Pokemon outside of the Diglett, but you don't want to bring Diglett hard into Spritzy, obviously. So I guess he could just also just get U-turn, get U-turn, grab some fat momentum over Scan's side. I think, yeah, I think that those are like the plays he can make. Now uh, I was gonna record some other replay here, as as actually Scan does stay in with the Mianfu to U-turn. So I would assume he's like the fat Mianfu, although most most Mianfus snack up a Volibee if they have a snack up a Volibee Brave Bird if they have some defense investment. So I guess it was a, it wasn't really a safe play, but it worked out. It, only his Violet got knocked off, which I guess can be bad because now he can get trapped by Diglett much easier, and it can come into anything as easy, especially not if the Tutuga has like Zen Headbutt, it can't come into Tutuga as easy anymore. But yeah, now with Scan can just go for these free as rocks. There's nothing Trash can really do about it. He's just gonna U-turn out, I would assume, to uh, put break potential sturdy, just scout the set as it is weak armor. So Trash can just pull it back into Mianfu, Tutuga, or Pharisee. As the rocks come up, Trash is probably just going to U-turn again, because there's no way Scan would just stay in a sack as Onyx right here. There's there's just no reason. Spritzy's a pretty obvious play here, so again he could knock off, but for the reasons I've mentioned before, uh, definitely the Covet could just come right back from the Spritzy if he packs that. So I think just U-turning and getting momentum into Pharisee and then getting up a Hazard is the better play. I would assume it, he only has the spikes, so just getting up a spike that right there, I think it, that is the better play. Uh, from trash to side and scan should just go into spritzy because it doesn't really have another switch in i guess he could go to wingle but yeah there, there's no real point really because like spritzy just comes into the uh, comes into the u-turn and so does wingle and on the wingle trash could just go into tatuka for free and get up a stealth rock so yeah that's basically all the players right here but yeah looking from this matchup this is a very very pretty hype matchup from my set like from my perspective as a spectator as the wingle does come out which i don't know if i fully agree with that because now trash just goes to tuga and gets up his rocks i guess if he's waters the heater can do a fat chunk to that tuga right there if he predicts the rocks but i don't know about i don't know about that i think spritzy was just a lot i guess it was a lot safer because especially because the uh, magnum can still be magnet pool so there's some mind games there between like if you just go spritzy and he U turns out into and he U turns out into Pharisee. There's still some mind games because you could still potentially have the Magnet Pool in the back. But I guess he doesn't have Covet, so he doesn't want to take the knockoff and get trapped by Diglett in the future. I guess if he doesn't have the Covet, it does make sense. But yeah, I get, like I said before, I think U turn was kind of Trash's only play right there. So now Scan definitely wants to switch out uh, either with the U turn or just hard switch. 
You can switch into Pharisee, you can switch into, I guess, Mianfu, but Mianfu doesn't really appreciate anything, especially not if he if he has to take his Zen Headbutt without a Violet. So I think Pharisee is the only play he can really make. That That's really worth the worth the risk. Because, like, you can't, you can't go, I don't know why you would ever go Spritzy, but obviously you can't go into that either. As he just hard skulls, which is a shitload, so, and it gets the burn right here on the Stuff Rock. So, yeah, again, like I said, if he is Water Z, this might be the play, because he gets scald into Water Z and just get that kill. So, nice play by Scan there, predicting the Stuff Rock. Now, Trash has some mind games to play around. He could definitely pull it back to Pharisee right here, predicting the Water Z, just scouting for that. Because you don't want to lose your Tertuga right there. Although, Tertuga doesn't really provide much of a use. To be honest, like, to be fair, Tertuga doesn't do too much this entire game, like, it doesn't really stop anything, it doesn't beat the Wingle anymore because it just gets to a kill by Scald. Although it is the only flying resist on Trash's side. He pulls it back to Mianfu, which is an interesting play because this does not appreciate Water Z at all. Uh, I mean, obviously it eats, and with regen it just gets some HP back, but um, now Trash has to pull it back into something else anyway, and that's definitely in Scald range, so now it's now it's Scan's, like, now it's Scan's decision if he wants to Hurricane predicting Pharisee or just Scald again make the safe play. Trash definitely cannot stay in here, he has to pull back, although he could also fake out, but I think Scan definitely has to attack. So he just protects predicting the fake out, and Trash just pulls it back to Spritzy. Oh yeah, Spritzy was also a play, I don't know what I'm even saying. He could have just gone to Spritzy because uh, the Wingle doesn't have its Z-move anymore. So he could just he could have just gone to that. So now Scan pulls it back to Magnemite, which actually has a great matchup this game. Especially if it is Scarf, so Diggler can't come revenge yet. So he gets up a Wish. Now I think he's just going to pass up, pass up the Wish into... Either Mianfu if it eats, I don't know if it 100% eats with the analytic that Magnemite might have. Um, or he just passes it all along into Pharisee. Predict uh, well, if you pass it along into Pharisee, you don't cover this being a Violite. Again, I think the only set it could really be is... Because um, we know the Mianfu is not Scarf, so the only set it could really be is Scarf, because otherwise this team is just way too slow. Yeah, so it's definitely not a Violite, but... I guess she, I guess Pharisee is a bit risky, but yeah, if Mianfu definitely eats you, just pull it back to Mianfu. As he does go into Pharisee right here. We'll see what Sken wants to do. He, wa he wants to just fire off a flash cannon. Now Trash, Trash just gets a free ass spike as Sken pulls it back to Mianfu. Free ass spike for Trash. Now he can uh, just yeah just get a free spritzy here as Sken should just U turn. Yep, there comes a U turn into his own Pharisee and he can get his own spike now. So this is this is kind of fun. Nice hazard stacks making making this game a lot more interesting. Just hazards on every side. I always love it when that happens in any form of game. So we see a switch into Mianfu on the uh, opposing Mianfu as a hard high jump kick comes out and there's a whole fuck ton. So Scan definitely doesn't want to stay in here. Although, yeah, it depends on his speed. If he's a slow Mianfu, he definitely doesn't want to stay in and just die. In that case, he wants to pull it back to Spritzy. But then again, I think Trash's play is U-turn here. So if he just U-turns on the Spritzy, he does a rocks damage, spikes damage, plus a little bit of U-turn chip. So you can try to chip it in range of Diglett Ground Z, or you can try to chip it in range of two high jump kicks with Hazard. So this is definitely a, this is definitely a really hard position for Sken. He could also pull it back to Wingle, actually, predicting the U-turn, but that will take a rocks plus U-turn damage. But at least that wouldn't put that that doesn't put him in a horrible spot later down the line. Although I don't know, I know uh, Wingle ca already came into rocks. I actually don't know if Wingle already came into rocks once. If it did, it's not going to eat a high jump kick. And actually, I don't know uh, if he, yeah, if he came into rocks already, he's not gonna live a high jump kick. As Trash goes to Tertuga here on the U-turn from Scan, so we can assume Scan's Mianfu is pretty fast, as he just gets the best out of that. So he could have just sacked his Mianfu there. So that's why I assume it's fast, because like, why would you stay in with a slow Mianfu on the opposing Mianfu, unless he like 100% knows, it, unless he calc the damage from Water Z, I guess, and he knows 100% the opponent is also a slow Mianfu. I guess it makes sense then. Uh, but yeah, that's that's just Mianfu speed tier wars. Now we just go, now it's just a free switch into Wingle, and he can just scald. Either the Tatuga gets sacked, which I think is the better play, or Trash just goes out in the Spritzy, and Skank can just fish for a burn, and then uh, just go to Pharisee for free on the Wish, and just get up a free spike, as Trash is forced to protect. So I think just sacking Tatuga is the play. Tatuga doesn't do anything. It dies to hazards. I, I think it might it might live on one percent, but then it just dies to burn. It's burned. It's useless. Rocks are already up. Like, it doesn't check anything, it doesn't outspeed. I, I mean, obviously, it outspeeds Pharisee, but who cares? Like, it doesn't really do anything. Trash, I think Trash is the only place to just sack Tertuga right here. And Scan can just fire off a free scald. Yep, as that actually does just happen. So now Trash can just go back to either Pharisee or Spritzy. Pharisee, if he's greedy for hazards. But then again, um, if he sets up a spike and Scan goes hard into Magnemite, and it is Scarf Magnet Pool, and then he just hard HP fires, that could be... Yeah, that could be a bit nasty for Trash right there. So yeah, Spritzy is a safer play, but now Trash is forced to wish, 
as Skank can just go into Ferris Seed and get up his second layer of spikes, as Trash is going to be forced to Wish Protect, or at least, like, even if he predicts that, he's just going to Moonblast and do, like, 15 or whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what Moonblast does to Ferris Seed, but it's going to do, like, 15, 13 around that, one of those, like, percentages. So he actually roosts up, which isn't all. It's yeah, it's another good play, just benefiting off the wish protect. Now we can just go back to Ferris and lay up another hazard anyway. I since had another hazard, uh, hazards. I obviously mean another hazard, as the the moonblast comes out, does a shitload because of the crit and because of the fact that it's not a violite. So yeah, that actually does a fuckload. Now the second layer of spike is obviously going to go up. Or he actually fires off a Tiwa, which is a hot prediction on the Mianfu. Oof! I thought a I thought a second layer of spikes was like. The obvious play, but uh, bam, this man takes it one step further and goes for that hard T wave. As Trash just fires off a fat high jump kick, knowing that the Spritzy does not want to come in and take the U turn plus all that hazard damage. So this Wingle is basically dead after this turn because he doesn't have another Fogger, and this this is the only potential Fogger. So if this Wingle ever switches out, it's just death fodder. And I think uh, Trash is a free switch into Spritzy. Eskan doubles the Magnemite to try to get some momentum over that. Uh, yeah, Spritzy is at full, so I guess I do agree with that play, because Wingle couldn't have done shit anyway. You know what, like, that's just free chip on the Magnemite for no reason. Or it's just free chip on whatever for no reason. Like, I think just, I think just kind of made a good play there, although the Wingle is dead and fodder right now. doesn't really matter, because uh, he just, he just let the Spritzy take some chip for free. And now, next time, it uh, comes in on Mianfu U-turn, and then, then, like, if, if it comes in on Mianfu... And then the U-turn comes out, it's going to do a shit done. So obviously Trash is just going to protect just a scout. Flash kind of comes out, now you can pull it back to Ferris Deed pretty safely. We'll see if Sken wants to predict that and double out into something like... Uh, he just doubles up to Mianfu. If Trash makes a god play here, he Moonblast the Mianfu on the switch. But yeah, that's a bit that's a bit too of a bit too much of a fire god play. I don't know I don't know if Trash would want to do that. Obviously it would like kind of seal up the game. I mean it doesn't seal up the game obviously, but that would that would be huge right there. But Skank can always uh, always just flash cannon to ensure this isn't healed, which at yeah, the does come out on the double. Uh, let's see, Trash just goes to Ferris Seed. He just makes a safe play, just makes the obvious play, which that's obviously not bad. Like, Ferris Seed was just a nice play into a flash cannon right there. Skank just gets some regen for free here. Um, the thing is, I actually don't know if Ferris Seed dies to this. I don't know the set of Ferris Seed. Um, I might just be dumb right here. Um... I don't. Th he definitely doesn't want to stay in, but he just goes hard to Mianfu, which is also not a switch in. But he cu he predicts the U-turn perfectly there. That's a that's a really nice play by Trash, predicting the U-turn, and not letting that Spritzy take all that damage. Obviously, if Scan went for high jump kick there, that could have that could have ended pretty badly for Trash. But he predicts that U-turn immaculately. So as as Blunder would say it. So now Scan can just pull it back to, uh, I think only Spritzy. I think Spritzy is like the only play because nothing really beats Mianfu. So that that's a bit yeah. This Mianfu actually puts in the finest of work against Sken's team. Uh, although Sken's own Mianfu is getting healthy, it's, yeah, it's pretty healthy. Let's see, it's at uh, it's gonna be at it's gonna be at like 50 after hazards and regen. But yeah, I don't know what Sken is. I don't know. He's like thinking ahead or something. He's already making calcs. I don't know. <laughs> Sven's already calcing into the future. Like Spritzy's the only play, obviously. Um, unless you want to go to like Magma and hit Volt Switch and get some chip and then just let your Spritzy die. If you really want to make an awful play like that. So uh, he just goes into Spritzy, obviously. So now the, the obvious play is Ferris Seed again. I keep saying obvious. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry if it's annoying my boys. But uh, yeah, just Moonblast is a straightforward play. Trash already went into... Trash already went into Ferris Seed last time. But he doesn't have another switch into Moonblast unless uh, his own Spritzy. Unless he wants to go his own Spritzy, which is kind of a mid-ground. The problem is if Sken's Spritzy is like Calm Mind, it could just set up on it. Especially if like if Trash's um Trash's Spritzy is not Calm Mind and Sken's is Calm Mind. Or even Nasty Plot if he wants to be wild, obviously, but uh, yeah, we'll we'll just assume it's Calm Mind, right? As the last slot. So he just just go into Ferris Seed. If this Moonblast comes out, it's gonna do jack shit. Yep, he just goes to the Moonblast there. Could have also just thrown up a wish, but I think Moonblast was I think Moonblast was fine, I guess. Uh he could have also just wished up his Magnemite, but or even wished up his Mianfu. That could have actually been huge if he just wished up his Mianfu. But yeah, Moonblast is, I guess, fine. Now he can just go into, I guess, his Mianfu. But yeah, that can get T-Wave if this, is, if this has T-Wave. I assume Trash is just going to go for his second layer of spikes, though. Because that's going to be that's gonna be a banger. Because all of Sken's Pokemon are grounded. All, like, at least all of Sken's Pokemon that are alive. So the second layer of spikes is going to do a shitload. Obviously, if Magnemite comes in, though, he's going to hit him with the HP Fire. As Trash makes a god play right there and doubles to Mianfu. Uh, dude, this man just switched 
in a Mianfu on a Spritzy. That's a that's a power play right there. So we've already seen a lot of a lot of nice predictions in this game. This game has been amazing so far. So Scan could go for the Volt Switch here to get some veteran chip because I don't think like there's for trash just going hard in this uh, Diglett is unplay unplay as fuck. So if Scan wants to get that chip with the Volt Switch, he can definitely get that veteran chip and then just go into Spritzy or even to his own Mianfu if he really wants to predict it. So he just sacks Wingo, which is also a nice play. Yeah, actually, uh, I, didn't, I didn't even think about that. But just sacking it right now and getting the Spritzy back healthy, I guess, is the play. Actually, I don't know what health the Spritzy is at. From what I recall, it's pretty low. Yeah, it's pretty low. It's at 50 right now. So Trash is just going to U-turn out in the Pharisee. Uh, that's what I assume, at least. As Scan should just fire off a... Just just fire off a Wish in the air. Yeah, Trash should just go into Pharisee and fire off a T-Wave if he has it on the Mianfu, which could be nice. Or just a second layer of Spikes. I was going to say Trash just U-turns, but no, <laughs> obviously he doesn't because it's paralyzed. So, Trash goes to the- oh, ooh, that's nasty plot. Ooh, this is bad. So, this is what I was talking about earlier. Draining kiss, what the fuck? Nasty plot draining kiss. Hello. Alright, so, um, this is the thing. He gets the drop, which sucks. As Scan just goes for another boost. So, this is what I was talking about. If he goes into, uh, Spritzy and Scan Spritzy, as that, that's a nice crit right there for Scan. Not that it would have mattered. I think Trash was going to sack that Spritzy eventually anyway. I think that crit was actually bad for Sken because he couldn't get more free boosts, uh, in my opinion. So, in my opinion, that's uh, that's just like actually bad for Sken. So, um, yeah, what I was saying earlier is if you go to Spritzy on a mid ground to cover the double to Mianfu and just to cover the Moonblast because you can wish up. Uh, if this if this uh, has calm mind, in this case, it has nasty plot draining kiss. But yeah, it can just nasty plot up and draining kiss again. Like, what is it even gonna do? I guess it it just knocks off into ground EMZ. So, it just draining kisses. I think the damage has been done though. Like this Spritzy is dead now, but the damage has been done. And that gets hurt by iron bars, which is kind of cool. Um, but like I don't even see what's stopping Magnemite at this point. Like all the Magnemite, I mean obviously Ferrisseed was like the only Magnemite resist, but that's like gone, blown out of the water. Scan just goes into Magnemite if it is Scarf and just fires off a fat flash cannon here, just to chip away at either Mianfu or Vellabi. Um. Yeah, I don't really see any other play he can make. Yup, he goes into Magnemite. I assume the Flash Cannon's gonna come out. If he wants to make a God play, I guess he Volt Switches. Uh, which is like a God play of the century. But I guess it could work, because I don't think Trash would stay in with the Diglett. Like, staying in with the Diglett is fat on play right here. So, if Scan wants the Volt Switch, that is, I guess, a really good play that he can make. Uh, it's a bit risky, though. I don't think it's worth it. Uh, he doesn't have the game 100% secured, I guess. But I think Flash Cannon's still the better play, because then you can just win with Flash Cannon later on. Although, the Hazards might chip it in. Uh, if the Ziggler has like Sucker, I guess it could stay in, and then with the Hazards and the Fake Out, it can just uh, chip this Magnemite in a range of dying. But even then, still, Scan still has a Mianfu that can do some work. He still has an Onyx to block the Vullaby off. I don't really think Scan can lose. He just clicks Flash Cannon here, I think. Uh, yeah, again, if he wants to go, he clicks Volt Switch. That's the only two uh, moves he can really click. And yeah, I don't know what Trash is going to do. It depends on his move set, obviously, on this uh, Diglett. Depends on if he has Sucker Punch. If he has Sucker Punch, uh, I don't know how much that does to Scarf. It, I'm sure it does quite a bit, actually. That might chip him into range of hazards, and then he can just go to Vullaby after. So yeah, knowing that, I think Scan should just click Flash Cannon. I know I know, um, Sucker Punch isn't that common on Diglett, but you have to watch out for that. Holy shit, these Evolt Switches. Damn, dude. He really wanted the Flex. Uh, I don't know if I agree with that play. I don't, not, I don't, I don't think I agree with that play at all. I think it's just risk for no reason. I mean, it's obviously not for no reason. Like, I think the game's like 100% secure now. Uh, as he just just go into, he just goes into uh, Mianfu and fakes out here. But yeah, that was that was a mega flex. That <laughs> that was like the god play. Like that that was a nice ender, the nice finisher to this game. This game has been full of uh, full of like great play. So that's that was a really nice finisher to this. Just a volt switch on a day. That was a that's a power play right here. So he just hits him with the fake out. Uh, as he actually goes into Onyx to get the weak armor, holy, that, that, another complete power play. That, that's that's just asserting dominance right there. Just go to just go to that Onyx, get that weak armor. Scan really is the god. Scan really is the best LC player to ever touch this earth. It's insane. Damn those those final turns, like he had it in the bag, and then he's like, nah, let me just pop some extra flexulence to make sure I have this in the bag. Damn, that's 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 just really sick. Now he just goes back to Magnemite and just finishes the game up with Flash Cannon. Omega over. Or you can just go to Mianfu as well. Although, yeah, obviously you don't want to risk miss, so you just go Magnemite. Actually, it actually does go with, goes into me. Does it go? Why would you go Mianfu there? Why don't you just go Magnemite and just get a kill? I don't really get this play. 
Uh, unless you have like Drain Punch. If you have Drain Punch, it plays 110%. Alright. Like, there's nothing wrong with the play if you have Drain Punch, obviously. As he actually has high jump kick, so if he missed there, um, he was in a bad spot, potentially. I don't know if he lost there, but I think... Uh, unless there's something I'm missing, make sure to post that in the comments below if there's something I'm missing. But I think that's... I think that's giving the opponent a 10% chance to win there. Obviously, it's it was not, it wasn't guaranteed win if he dodged HJK, but I don't I don't see why you don't just go Magnemite and fire off a flash cannon right there. Um, because if you're scared, like if he was scared of Sucker Punch on Diglett in the uh, in the end game, nah, he saw fake out. Yeah, I don't get that play. Yeah, I don't get that play at all. Because I don't yeah I don't I don't get why you would go Mianfu and not just uh, not just into this. Again, if uh, oh never mind, let me just rewind. Let me just see if um, let's see, did what was this Mianfu's? F no, it wasn't Mianfu's first turn in because he just he already boomed on it, so he couldn't have even faked out the chip in my range. Yeah, again, make sure to comment on this in the comments below if you think I'm making a mistake. If you think I'm, I think I made any mistakes in here. Make sure to comment below. If I rewatch this and just see some mistakes like a noob idiot, I am. I'll definitely post that in the comments below as well, correcting them. But yeah, I hope you had, I hope you had just a blast as I did uh, commenting this. Sorry if I sounded a bit dead because I I'm a bit tired, but I just wanted to get this video out for you guys and for Doc Rich. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna be spamming Doc Rich's channel at least. Hopefully, I'm a bit lazy, so you never know. But with some LC content because I actually love this tier. So yeah. <laughs>